bringing laurels to the state of Meghalaya. I'm being joined by the champion of WFF Asia Pacific 2022, which was held in Vietnam, but Don Bo Rum Nong. I'm here at his residence and we're going to interact with him and understand how challenging and how does he feel after being able to bring laurels to the state. Uh, thank you, Bart Rum Nong, for joining us. Firstly, if you can tell us about this championship that you have won, if you can tell us more. Okay, like the championship which I've won is like uh, it's uh, Asia Pacific uh, under the Association of World Fitness Federation, 2022. So I won under the division of men's uh, Bermuda and men's physique. Yeah. Okay. So I got placed third. Yeah. So firstly, if you can tell us also more in details. What what did you have to go through, uh, you know, to train so hard to achieve where you are at this point? Yeah, look, like mm, the to achieve this much is like see the training is like it's not like a training where I have been training for just two months, three months. I've been like, like to give a brief info. It's like I have joined gym in a, in since two thousand two thousand ten, and since two thousand thirteen I've been competing. So and for this uh, competition, like which which I went out there in Vietnam, I've been prepare, uh, my preps was like all for almost six to eight months. So during those six to eight months, the preparation was uh, a bit challenging when it comes on, especially to the diet and the, to the food I eat. Then uh, the time since like side by side, I also work in a bank and also like uh, I do like personal training. I have certain clients, then online clients, so the time to manage is really hectic, but still somehow I manage it. So those are the challenges and all. And uh, So this uh, interest of yours to get into uh, fitney, uh, fitness and being very healthy and this physique, how did it all begin? Like which year and was it always your passion when you were a child or how did it start? Yeah, this I can say like since... Uh, since I was a child, means like child in a sense, like during like four to five years and all, I was really admired by Arnold. So I used to tell my like my father, I used to tell my father, like how can I be like him and all, like like mostly all parents used to say like oh, you need to eat this, you need to eat that to be big. That as time passed by, then I used to ask him like ah I used to eat, but how come I never be big? You no, know, my father told me like you need to join the gym. Then I did this after complete after completion of my graduation. Then in the year 2010, then I joined gym. Then I start competing in the year 2013. Then it goes on till now. Okay. Now, another thing that we wanted to understand you, you know, here in Meghalaya, because we still like all this infrastructure. And there's, these days, now we're seeing that people are starting to come forward. And when it comes to physique, or be it any other kind of um, uh, discipline, or like say body lifting, weight lifting, yours is uh, in the category of physique. We see that people are participating, but however, in Meghalaya, do you think there's enough scope or there's a future? What exactly happens in your field? You see, like in each and every sports, there's a scope. It's not like I'm like I'm saying like uh, you competed and there's no scope. If there's no scope, eventually even me, I won't be there in this field. So like, see, basically like in my in my field, which I am, like uh, I've been competing. So the thing is that see, it's like. Uh, the advantage which I got, like the most, most of the, like most of the tournament and all which I've won, so it's like I'm creating myself a brand. So by like people, by people knowing it, like oh okay fine. Instead of like, and on top of that, since I'm doing like all these uh, like online clients or online training cl training clients, then uh, I'm having like personal clients. Then people came to know about it. Then in the moment they said like oh he, like he's into this field, and on top of that the achievement which I'm having, so it's it plays. A vital role by like getting more more to it yeah right so you are, we're also seeing that you're also a banker so yeah. if you can just tell us how would you normally start your day if you're not touring anywhere if you're not going for any kind of uh, competition so if you're in the state you're working you're as a banker can you just tell us how would you start your day okay basically like my normal routine is like i wake up in the morning the moment i wake up i used to, i go for cardio cardio then after cardio then i have my breakfast then by 10 i used to leave home then go for the work, for job, then by the five, five o'clock I used to leave, then directly to the gym, I hit the gym, where me and myself, I work out. Then after gymming, then say around like by 6.30, 7, then I move out, then I used to go to different gyms where I used, which I used to train, yeah, where my clients are there. So it depends, like there are certain days which uh, the gyms that I've been training, it's like one gym is there in, in, uh, in Maulai, mm -hmm. Petro Pom site, Gen Fit Gym. So one gym is in Thor. And certain gyms where I, I never go, but clients come directly to my house. Okay. So I used to check them, like, we used to have, like, once in a week check up and all, regarding the diet, the workout routine, all those stuff. No? Okay. Yeah. So, 
uh, talking about this recent uh, championship that you've won, uh, was it everything personally taken care of from your end or did you get any support from the government? No, basically, like, like see, like when I went out there, like, like mm, it's not like I, I have applied, I haven't applied anything. So I went personally for myself and this was like, uh, but through the help of the association. The, I really thank, thank the association, like uh, uh, WFF uh, Association, the main like um, WFF Meghalaya and WFF India. These are the, the, this association has helped me a lot in, like, in going out there. Okay. Mm. And um, apart from uh, you know, your achievement here, can you tell us, because you were telling me about Mr. Meghalaya, you had also won that uh, previous achievements that you've uh, won, if you can tell us more. Yeah, like I started competing in 2013, like I said. So my first uh, achievement, like small, I got third, like that is Mr. Bodizu. It was a small competition out here. Then after that, then I start competing for Ironman, Mr. Ironman. Ironman, I got, uh, I won in my my category, mm -hmm. but then I didn't want, I didn't go to Yuval. Then, then after that, I competed in Mr. Meghalaya, 2016, 17, 18, and 19. I won in bodybuilding, mm -hmm. but in category, the heavyweight category. Then 2017 itself, as men's physique was newly launched in mm -hmm. Meghalaya. That was the time where I competed for both bodybuilding and men's physique. I won men's physique, I won the overall, and bodybuilding, I won the my category, heavyweight category. Mm -hmm. Since 2017, then it goes on. Then 2018, again, there was a show, uh, like in the month of Feb, there was a m national, Mr. India, in Agra. So I went for it, but I, I got placed seven. Then after that, the same year itself, in the month of July, June to July, there was a competition, Mr. Northeast. Men's, uh, so I participated and I won in men's physique and classic bodybuilding overall championship. Then 2019, again, I won Mr. Meghalaya in my category. Then I went for the national, that is Mr. Mr. India mm -hmm. in Kerala. So out there where I won mm, Mr. India men's physique mm -hmm. in Kerala. Then 2020, then like everyone knows like this, you know, because of the COVID thing, you know. Then 2021, again, there was a champion, uh, like a, a national championship being held in Guwahati, IFA Classic, where I won the title of IFA Classic. Then, and after that, then this is the, the next event which I, yeah. Okay. Now, uh, what are your future plans after this? My future plan is like, uh, see, my next plan is like, since next week I'm going, I'm leaving for Mumbai for this, uh, it's one of the biggest event, you can say, in India. And, and it's an in, in international event. It's a Sheru Classic, Amateur Olympia, where the athletes, it's open worldwide. All the athletes, like from around the world, they're going to come for, for the pro card. Where once you get where someone gets a pro card, it's like uh, their life it's kind of settled when it comes down to the sports where we are. Okay. Yeah, it's like that. We are you're being sponsored. You're being hired by certain companies and all. Right, so uh, yeah. Okay, so that would be a big achievement. If that would be a big achievement, but it's gonna be very tough. Okay. Yeah. So how do you plan to prepare for that? What yeah, I'm, need to do? until now I'm still in the stage of preparation and all. Next week I'll see. Like, like it's not like I'm preparing. I'm preparing. So next week it's the this week is gonna be the second uh, the last second last week and to next week will be the last final week where the last week it's mostly the crucial week we used to say because why during the last week it's like it comes down like to uh, carb carbs depletion where we lower our carbs then like uh, sodium depletion where it, three, three days before the show we never take salts okay. yeah then and like one day before the show water right. de water depletion then it'll be very Mm, crucial. Crucials, yeah. Uh -huh. So mm. we have also seen today, you know, everyone on social media here in Meghalaya, here in Shillong, mm. and also the locality. We see everyone is so happy with yeah. your achievement. How do you feel when you came back today? How you were welcomed? Yeah, today, like, like I, I didn't expect much. I didn't expect that, like, it'll be such a big thing. So when I reached Guwahati, like my wife, then my aunt, my uncle, they came and picked me up, and my friends, they came and picked me up. So I was thinking, okay, fine, actually, okay, just uh, this much. And all. The moment I reach, uh, I reach, uh, not not right, the moment I reach Kanapara, okay. on top, uh, then again, some group were there. So I'm not sure. Then again, uh, I reach Nongpo, then again, some group. Then I reach uh, this uh, Lat Omroy, again, another group. Then the main, they were in uh, the viewpoint, eh? oh, Dumps, yeah, uh, yeah. The viewpoint out there. Then I'm really thankful, like to all the to all everyone, right? Have been there, especially like uh, to my clan, Rumnong clan, mm -hmm. then my entire family, then the Maulai Nongkwar, the locality Maulai Nongkwar, then the Maulai Seng Samla Maulai Pelun, the entire Seng Samla Maulai Pelun, then uh, 
since I belong to the association of bouncer, a bouncer association of Meghalaya BAM, the, the, um, I'm really thankful to the BAM because even the BAM, BAM members were there. Then uh, uh, I side by side, I'm a rider with Tulba, then Tulba, okay. those members and all, all of the, they have come. Then uh, also like the, the NGO association, this HNYF, right. have al always been there with me. Like before my prep, before my prep, before going there and all, they have al always like be there for me, like to support me. Then, and, uh, and those, uh, and, and, uh, and from the gym, okay. my gym mates and all. <laughs> so with this, everyone coming out to support you and you know, you're seeing so so much of positivity around does this you know push you more further to ensure that you know more should be done yeah it boosts me a lot today it boosts me a lot by saying like oh i should give more i should do more since like uh, like uh, after winning this like what they said like for the top three athletes right they given us a chance to compete for mr wall mm -hmm. um, uh, mr wall this year will be in indonesia in the month of november but regarding that i won't be going so they're saying like see if you're not going this year you can go next year next year is going to be in the month of December, uh, November first week or October last week, they are saying like that. They haven't fixed the date yet. The, it's gonna be in Germany. So hopefully, I'll give my best okay. for that. Well, all the so best. It, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. Well, that was Badrum Nong, and like he's mentioned, how he was welcome today. It was a boost up for him, and as he narrated his story, how he has he has been inspired to you know get into this field. A very positive story here. Once again, congratulations to Badrum Nong. Uh, this is Princess reporting for EastMojo.com in Shillong. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to East Mojo. For any queries, put them down in the comments section below and press on the bell icon for notifications.